Hi guys, so I'm going to go ahead and do a video on my travel essentials. Basically what's in my carry-on luggage and my little backpack purse thing that I have with me on the plane. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I have in there. And also, I have mentioned before that I was going to California and asked for you guys to give me suggestions on places I should go and whether I should do a meetup. And I just want to thank you guys so much for all the suggestions. Like I have this huge list here of all the different suggestions that I'm actually going to possibly hopefully visit and I decided to do a meetup at the Irvine Spectrum which is really close to my hotel. I'll be staying in Newport so I'll be doing a lot of things in the Newport area but I wanted to kind of do a actual meetup at the Irvine Spectrum Thursday um, April 3rd from I think 6 to 8 p.m. around that time but basically I'll just be walking around by myself like a loner and hopefully some of you guys might be able to show up and hang out with me. If you do see me, please do not be scared to say hi. And uh, otherwise, I'll be all alone, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys can show up. And I'm sorry for any other you guys that can't make it that wanted to. Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to visit California again and go to um, San Francisco or any other places that you guys would want me to go. But for now, that's all I can really do. Um, but yeah, besides that though, I'll still be in the Newport area, so hopefully um, if you keep updated on Instagram, Twitter, I'll let you guys know where I am. And if you're happening to be near or in the area, we can totally meet up still and hang out. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll go ahead and show you guys stuff. <laughs> so for my little purse backpack thing that I will have with me on the plane, I just have this backpack here. And it's from Victoria's Secret and it has these studs on it. And I just love this color. And it carries so much stuff. And I love the little pockets. I can kind of keep things organized in the pocket here. And this thing has a drawstring top. So it closes in like this with a flap. So in this bag, I will be putting my laptop, which I will bring for me to be able to edit and just use in general. So I have my MacBook Pro here. And then I will also have my little makeup bag. And this is actually for the entire trip. I want to have it with me just in case I want to touch up before or after I get off the plane. But in here I just have my basic mace up makeup essentials. Just eyeshadow palettes. Um, make sure you bring a moisturizer and with SPF as well. And it just has, I just have my concealer, primers, mascaras, eyeshadow, eyeshadow brushes, um, eyelashes, eyelash glue, concealer, and lip balm is very important, and a lip color or two. But basically, just all in this handy dandy makeup bag. And it's also very important to make sure you bring your chargers for whatever electronics you are bringing. I have my, where's my camera? I have this camera here, which I will be using for probably my outfits and any vlogging I'll be doing on the trip. And then, of course, I want to have my phone charger. And my actual phone I have a charger case for, which is super handy for long days where you can't really get to a phone charger outlet. You have this extra battery on your phone, so that will also come in handy. And I'll have my charger cord for that. I also like to have a couple accessories. I don't really accessorize too much, but just a few things that we'll be able to put into a few outfits I want. So I bought some headbands. I have this red bandana headband and this daisy headband. I also have just some basic jewelry, some gold chain necklaces, this pendant, um, this gold cuff thing, and yeah, it's just all bundled up. But I'll put that probably on my side pocket of my little messenger bag. Also, don't forget to bring some sunglasses if you are going somewhere sunny. And this, I haven't worn these in so long. You also want to make sure you bring some gum with you. I have this here. And apparently, cinnamon gum is weird. I didn't know until I offered pieces to people. And pretty much everyone declined. Even though they wanted gum because I thought cinnamon gum was weird. But I don't know. But make sure you bring your favorite gum on the airplane. It'll prevent you from from having your ears pop and also you just don't want to have bad breath so yeah <laughs> and then I also have my little bag here which is my purse I'll carry around with me I'm doing a video 
Okay then. Hi. And then this is my purse thing that I'll just be carrying with me on a daily basis. And in here I just have my makeup. Well, not my makeup. My money. <laughs> um, I'll carry a lip balm, hand sanitizer, um, my debit card. Basically it. Just like my essential stuff. Extra cash, maybe some lotion. Um, yeah. I'm also bringing in this head pillow, which is perfect for the airplane, even though I have a very short flight. Um, I just want to make sure that I am comfortable, because airplane seats suck when you're in coach, and I've always been in coach, but anyway. Also, it's good for car rides, and doing this. I also have been wanting some waterproof, um, a waterproof phone case for my phone, and I was thinking of getting a life-proof case, but... The reviews were all right, and I don't think that I want to risk having my phone completely be damaged because I wanted to take it in a pool. So I got these cases here. I accidentally got two. Um, they are on Amazon. They were like $11. So because they're so cheap, I'm kind of still like, I don't know. I brought this one in the pool, but I don't want to, you know, go like scuba diving with it or something. But just for like if I go to SeaWorld or and I want to go on that water ride, I can bring my phone and my camera with me. And if I want to go in the pool, I can still use that. But make sure that if you do get this, you want to test it beforehand. Maybe put something inside. Have it sit in a bowl of water or a tub or sink overnight and see if any water leaks in before you actually use it. But it is super handy for trips like these when I want to have my phone and my camera on me at all times. And also, if you have a car charger for your phone or camera or anything, I recommend bringing that just in case you need to charge your phone in your car. And it always sucks when I need it. I don't have it. So, yeah, I'm going to remind myself to bring that this time. It also helps to kind of like list down all the things you want to pack. So up here I have like things I want to bring in my little backpack messenger bag thing and then all the things I want to bring on my actual carry-on luggage. That way I can keep track of all the things I want to pack. I don't forget anything. And also when you end up repacking your stuff when you are leaving to go back home you can kind of read through all the things to make sure you don't forget anything and also just a reminder if you are staying in a hotel be sure to check under your bed for things you might leave behind because i just got back from um a vacation and i left my camera charger and battery under the bed i know for sure because that's a place i didn't check and i lost it so now i can't use my dslr camera too much also, it's very important to bring headphones. It's one of those things where it's like when you need it, you don't have it. So make sure you don't forget to bring these because it'll be very helpful during your flight or during car trips and when you're bored and all that. So, yeah. This is all the stuff that I plan to pack in my carry-on luggage, which I'll probably put in my overhead compartment because it is a little bit bigger. But we couldn't check in a bag, so I had to just use a carry-on and... A backpack to put all my stuff for the four days will be gone anyway what I like to do is I like to plan out my outfits for however long I'm going to be staying there so that way I know exactly what I want to wear and I can try on the outfits before I go to make sure they look good and everything work well together so I plan out the outfits according to the weather and it's supposed to be about in the 70s to low 80s so I packed um, shorts and tank tops so I have like one outfit here, another outfit here, and then just outfits there. And then I packed the shoes that I thought would work well with each outfit. So I have outfits mainly planned out, but just in case the weather is wrong, which has happened to me a lot of times before, I like to pack a hoodie and a jacket with a hood just in case it might get chilly some days or if I go out at night and it's cold. So just put over whatever outfit I'm wearing. And then... Um, like extra tank top that will work well with anything and then some jeans an extra pair of denim shorts and an extra pair of just black shorts so just a couple extra things i might want to wear for some days that i didn't want to wear a certain outfit or the weather was um something i didn't expect so and i like to pack cardigans with a lot of stuff just because it's easy to cover up a tank top or something if it's a little chilly or just to take it off if it's too hot. You want to make sure you ca uh, pack a lot of comfortable shoes because you don't want to be walking around all day in shoes that are uncomfortable and have your feet have blisters or start bleeding or something like that and then not enjoy your day. So 
make sure that you do pack some comfy shoes and I also packed some knee-high socks right there. It's not as hot as I expect it to be. I can still wear my shorts with just the knee-high socks. And then a pair of sandals for when I go out to the beach. And then I packed these three swimming suits. I couldn't really decide. But I have this suit here from PacSun. And these two here are from the Triangle brand, which is really popular right now. And I am in love. I love these colors so much. And then I have a beach bag here that it came with, actually. And it came with another for the pink suit, but the blue one matches the blue suit. And I just plan on using that for days I go out to the beach. And then I packed some uh, pajamas, some uh, loose t-shirts and shorts. And then I wear socks and bras and a couple bandeaus for your tank top. And then here I have my little toiletry bag, which I will show you guys what exactly is inside my toiletry bag and the TSA rule is it's 3.4 ounces of liquid in a carry-on as a maximum for each container so make sure that you don't go over that otherwise you might have to end up throwing away whatever it is that you bring that is over 3.4 ounces and you want to make sure it's also in a quart size ziplock bag so that way when it's time to go through the conveyor belt and security you can just take it out and put it in the bin so I have everything inside this Victoria's Secret pink toiletry bag and inside I have my Clarisonic brush which I use every day, my toothbrush and then the charger for my Clarisonic. Some deodorant that's very important <laughs> especially if you're going somewhere hot you don't want to be stinky. And then I have some makeup wipes which are super helpful also for taking off makeup even like waterproof mascara and it's um, really handy if you want to just you don't have a sink or water or anything so you can just take off your makeup with these wipes and then I have in my little quart size ziplock bag all of my liquids which I just have some shampoo conditioner some proactive toner some hair um, heat protectant and shine spray some hairspray which is the catwalk weatherproof I believe which stinks so bad but it's the only travel size hairspray I have and then I have my face wash and a face moisturizer and then a perfume. So that's basically what I have in this here. So I've just laid out everything here and I haven't actually put it in my suitcase. So let me see if I can even fit everything in there. But what I like to do is I actually like to roll up my different outfits and kind of keep them together in my separate outfits so that way I don't have to go through my luggage and make a mess out of it. Just have it organized for each day so I know what outfit I want for that day and everything will be just in one side of my suitcase. But yeah, that's basically it for all of my travel essentials. I hope that it was helpful and I also hope that if you are in the Orange County area in California or Southern California in general, I hope that you can make it tomorrow or if I'm uploading it today, there's tomorrow, Thursday, okay I'm confused. Anyway, it's April 3rd. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you can make it and if you are traveling, I wish you safe travels and I hope that wherever you're going will be wonderful. I'm excited! <laughs> you have no idea how excited I am to go to California. There's like a fuzzy. Okay. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day and thanks for watching. Bye.